What if I tell you about a product that won't kill your lawn, can really turn your lawn around, won't kill grass but selectively kills weeds only, a product that is not found in big box stores, and safe for humans and pets alike? Sounds too good to be true? Stick around, let me tell you all about it. Hi guys, Louie here and welcome back to Acorn Hill. Now for all of you who are just joining me and to give you a recap, I have less than an acre lot that I'm trying to renovate because the lawn has been overtaken by a lot of weeds over the years. For the past two weeks, I have systematically organically killed the weeds and the grass. I have aerated and scarified the lawn to get it ready for proper seeding and turf growing. I cannot stress enough the importance of dethatching the lawn so that we could remove all the gunk and all that built up material so we can have proper seed to soil contact for proper turf growing. The bare soil condition of our property was easily achieved because of two important practical units that I've used in doing this process. For ease in scarifying and dethatching our less of an acre lawn, I used the electric scarifier and dethatcher that I got from a grocery store. For detaching smaller areas and for fine tuning the work done by the electric scarifier dethatcher, I use the Groundskeeper 2 rake. This detaching rake, the one that you see in the middle, the Groundskeeper 2, is one of the best, if not the best, detatcher that I've used by far. Groundskeeper 2 dethatching rake is not similar to your regular rake because the tines are strong, spring loaded, thin wires that are used to rake through and go deeper into the thatch and pull it up. Now the problem that I have with this lawn and for years this type of weed has grown right over it and it has taken over. Now from my research and I could be wrong here and people can correct me and certainly give me the name of, of this grass of this weed but it's from my research it's called cooch grass and I'll put the name up on the screen but this weed is it's completely invasive and it has overtaken all the green um, that you've seen uh, even after the bonai the initial application of the lawn uh, killer and uh, the grass killer it killed it decimated it but it is the network of roots of this weed is severe um, that I, I fear and I feel that they are getting revived uh, just coming from the roots that are deep right deep inside um, the lawn before I do my seeding and overseeding, uh, I have to kill the existing potential weed seeds and still the weeds that are still planted in the ground. But today, I will introduce to you a product that to me I think is the answer to all our lawn woes. Um, it's a product called Tenacity. Um, it hasn't been made available to the public for a while, but um, now it has been, um, usually used in golf courses and um, now we are able to uh, use this is a highly concentrated product and um, we'll be using this uh, only at a half a teaspoon uh, amount for a gallon of product that we will mix up and then i'll use also surfactant which is the glue that will hold everything and allow the liquid to stay on the weeds and a laser uh, laser dye it's it's almost like a food colorant um, in in consistency but we use this so that we know exactly where we're spraying um, we're not over spraying or under spraying and um, have that good coverage so visually it will give us um, a good uh, look as to where we've been spraying and what areas we still need to do the spraying for so we're, we're gonna put that over here now setting all the products aside how do i use it and uh, how do i mix it up well um to take the guesswork out of what i do i've uh, written down exactly how much i need uh, to a different designated um sprayer that i have um this is only for tenacity when i have to apply tenacity 
Um, right now I'm applying it for my lawn renovation, but also I will apply this uh, throughout any growing season because we will have weeds. Um, so for one gallon, um, this actually is a gallon and a quarter um, sprayer, but I will use this only for one gallon of water and every gallon of water will have a half a teaspoon of tenacity, a teaspoon and a half of the surfactant, the glue, and a teaspoon of the laser dye. That way we know exactly where we're spraying. Now, the thing when you buy um, tenacity is it comes with its own syringe. And I like it because the circumference of the syringe um, fits really well into the opening of the surfactant and into the opening of the laser dye so really there's no chance of it's uh over spilling or us wasting um wasting any of the liquid um, but this is tenacity like i said and um we will do a uh, a proper um, product review on this but right now we're using it again so that we can prevent any of the weed seeds to grow and any of the existing uh weed roots um that are still planted and still uh, embedded in the ground, albeit I already uh, scarified and I already um, dethatched the lawn. So right now the lawn is about 80% bare uh, soil and about 20% existing uh, roots and weeds. So let me get everything all set up, put a gallon of water on my on my sprayer and put everything that I need. Now using tenacity is very straightforward. I have the sprayer that I have designated only for tenacity. I adjusted the tip so that it will produce a fine mist. The general idea is to spray the weeds once. According to the instruction label, we are being recommended not to overspray. This stuff is highly powerful and potent that for a half a teaspoon in a one gallon sprayer and not over spraying but only spraying once to go over the weed this little bottle a 32 ounce bottle will really go a long way now as a disclaimer and for my application i wanted you guys to know that there are certain parts of my yard that needed over spraying only because there are certain areas where there are nasty deep-seated roots that i really needed to take care of as I do the application, whether light or overspraying, I made sure that I avoided good plants as uh, tenacity has a tendency to damage them. But here's the biggest plus about tenacity. Are you ready? Tenacity, when applied correctly, only kill the weeds, not the grass. It kills 40 different kinds of weeds that can grow on any lawn, and they are all listed either on their website or on the label of the bottle of tenacity. Here you can see as to why that blue dye is important. We can see clearly where we are spraying. We clearly see where we overlap. It's just a good ingredient and tool to have so that we don't miss out on any part of the lawn. Now once dried, kids and pets can come to the sprayed area of tenacity, which is usually between three to four hours later. And in these situations, reading the label would be common sense, so I recommend you do so. And here's another area where using the dye 
is very beneficial because we can see exactly where my path is, where I'm spraying, how much spray I'm putting on the ground, and it just gives me the area of where to spray and not over spray and miss out. Now, as far as the effects of tenacity, for the first week, you will see that the areas we sprayed will become light and there will be some patches along the lawn. Weeds can go from green to white. Some of them go from yellow, but the final effect is when they become paper white. Tenacity will provide this weed killing action and discoloration for about two to three weeks. So don't expect your lawn to look good during that time. But the great thing about it is you don't have to respray because during that time it will kill the weeds root and all. Simultaneously, as the weeds die back, tenacity has not affected the grass, so the grass will have an opportunity to fill in and take over. As you can tell, applying tenacity is very practical. It's simple. It's straightforward, the effect is long lasting, and it's cost effective in the long term because you only use a half a teaspoon for one gallon of water and can cover a decent sized backyard. So that is it for this phase of my lawn renovation program, which is applying the pre-emergent using the product Tenacity. Thank you guys for sticking around with me so far. This lawn is getting back into shape and I appreciate you being a part of it. And on the next episode of my lawn renovation program, it'll be seeding time and the other steps involved in making sure the seeds grow well into the newly built lawn. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. From the backyard, this is Louie, and we'll see you back here in Acorn Hill.